Um, okay, so here's the book. This is Kyle's. So the next thing you need to do with your book is to trim it, right? If you don't like your edges. Uh, if it's really, really nice paper, you might want to, um, you know, keep those nice edges and just, and just open up the pages, you know, like that, right? But it's pretty nice when you get a book that's really nicely trimmed, okay? So you would have to do every page like this. So the thing to do is to mark your, um, right, mark your lines where you want the book to be trimmed. Okay, so that's the next step. And we're gonna do them all at once on the, on the paper cutter, okay, all at once. Uh, so what I did was I went ahead and I, I trimmed my book. Okay, so you can see it's pretty nice and clean. Um, and then the next thing is to put a little um, headband. And I actually, I, I had a bunch of these things, but I couldn't find them. So I ordered some, but they haven't arrived yet. So I went to Arch and I got this bit for about $4. Um, so, but it's only white. So if you want to use, you can use this. Um, it's a little boring, but otherwise you can get all these different colors, okay? And the interesting part is that actually they used to like make this, um, oops, here we go. So then, Where's my center? Oh, there. There we go. Um, sew them on the book, like directly on the book. They would take a little cord and like with the thread going. So we're not going to do that. Nobody does that, does that anymore. But um, I did bring this book. If you want to get a good book about book binding, it's called Handbook Binding. And it shows how to actually do that. Um, let's see if I can find it. Nope. Anyway, it's got really beautiful hand drawings about book finding and it shows up to make a headband if you had the patience to do that but we don't so what I'll do is I'll just take scissors uh, which are in another container So you want you want to have a nice a nice um, nice pair of, pair of scissors, okay? So all we're doing is we're just measuring how thick the book is right there, and I'm gonna cut two little strips. And so what that does is just hides the signatures where they're folded together. Just an aesthetic thing. Okay, so just take your headband. I, I'm not exactly sure, but I believe the part where the double flap is, you put the glue on. Like Tell you people love this on YouTube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you stick it on. And so it overhangs. Um, it overhangs your signature so that it hides them. Right? Like that. So that's one. The other one. And I cut this too big. So now we need to do the, um, 
the bags, right? The front and the back. And there's like little tricks. I sent you a PDF actually of uh, some instructions on how to do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do, what did I put? Oh, I lost my reports. That's it. Um, okay, so we're just going to cut the board. So the boards have to be, let's see if I can show you this. They have to be a little bigger so that you get a nice protective edge here. Okay, I don't know what that's called. It's called the nail, actually, as in, as in a fingernail in Italian. Um, so in this case, I'm going to do it like a couple of thicknesses of the board. Um, of the chipboard. Okay. So, I'm just going to measure that. And the width is going to be, I don't know if you can see it, we need to leave a space, okay, like a gap. Uh, so they say that this should be twice the thickness of the board you're going to use. I'm just going to eyeball it now. I'm just going to call it here. And then I can always test it before. I don't know if you can see it. Um, OK, yeah, there's the spot right there. So it's a little bit inwards. So I'm just going to quickly cut a couple of these on the, on the cutter there. Um, I don't generally trust these colors because they're, not, they're never precise, but for this I'm just going to do it. And you want your boards to be uh, going with the grain. Okay, so my, oh my gosh, I really dodged that one. What happened? That was good. I get the cutter. Doesn't work. I'm just doing it by hand. Uh, I should have prepared this, but you don't have time, so I'm going to have to watch me doing that. Okay, so that's going to give me now protection and also give me the space for the hinge uh, right here. All right, so now what I need, I need two things. I need a spacer to determine what this uh, backing is going to be, and I need the spine. And the spine, usually you do it with thinner board, like a um, Bristol board. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use... Um, Thinner, what I had, thinner uh, chipboard. And so the thickness then is just you take the book together with your boards, and that's how thick the spine should be. Okay. So whatever that is. Uh, okay, Seven sixteen. And I'm going to cut a strip.
Bear with me for a second. Okay, so now what we need to do is determine the spacer. So the book is going to be like this, right? It's going to go like that. So now we just need to make another piece that's going to give me the spacing for the, uh, for the book. And what I can do is actually I can take um, tape and kind of mock it up real quick. Like that. Now I can take my book, put it in, and see if that's going to work. Oh, wait a minute. I taped the wrong one. It's this one. And put our book there. I think it's going to be too much. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. I've got too much, too much room here. So I'm going to just mark it a little less. Okay. Um, and again, there's like formulas for like the thicknesses, but from my experience, it, the formula sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. So, So now I have all my parts, and I need my uh, binding cloth, binding uh, paper, right? I mean, a cover paper. So what I'll do is because paper is trickier than um, than um, uh, book binding cloth, actually, which it's less prone to like curling and all that. So I'm going to do mine with book binding cloth, but that's okay. Um, and then I'll be helping you with your paper. So I'll get a piece. What are the dimensions of your book? I don't know. I have a 5 by 9, 6 by 9. Yeah. 6 by 8 and a half. Um, so what we want to do now is just simply cut a piece that's big enough oops, to um, to include both the both covers plus um, I don't want to be too stingy. Okay. Now, when you see like a, a book, a cloth bound book that has foil stamping, the way they do that on the paper is they, they, um, they print um, you know whatever it is that's going to be the type, whatever. That's going to that's gonna be like a roll of foil stamp and then let it press. It's going to, you know, punch that into the cloth. So then this piece will be cut and used to, to do the book binding, okay? So if you wanted to do, say, a cover in letter press on the press here, you would have to print your paper first, and then we can use that for the book. 
Now, the trick with that is that while right now I don't really care where I put this because I don't have anything on the cover, if you did, you would, you know, you would need to be a little more um, uh, precise. Uh, and actually, what I will do is I will do a little trick. I will do a, um, a little design. Uh, and that is I'm going to carve out a little square to show how you can like inlay um, an image. Okay, so what you do is simply peel off a layer of your which will mean that I'll have to be a little more precise and it means I'll have to um, figure out, you know, cut my cloth a little more precisely, right, with some reference points. Um, so what I'm going to do is simply score, I mean simply cut through into it a little bit. And with paper, you have to be a little more careful because paper may rip once you press it inside. But with cloth, it's actually a lot more um, forgiving. So this will make my book a little more personal. For example, I could take a photograph uh, or a little design, a little motif, and uh, inlay it in there. Okay, inset it. I should be doing this with a utility knife, but actually that's a good idea. So it's really just layers, right? If you're careful, you can really peel it off nicely. Okay. And then you can take your, your bone and just squish it down to make it really smooth inside. Okay, so I'm going to call it good. Um, yeah, so what I'll do now is I'll create a straight edge on this corner right here, which is going to be my, actually, on this corner. It's going to be my reference. Okay, and to do that, I can just quickly use this. Um, can see it. Sometimes it's a good idea to use like a white pencil. So basically that will just ensure that my square is going to be um, uh, straight when I put the cloth on, right? I'm doing it, I probably should do it. 
Um, I will get a white pencil actually because or even better maybe like a about pink because after I put the glue um, I want to see where I put this down okay so this is pretty good on all sides except this side Again, I'm gonna use, let me double check this one. Okay, it's good. So I'm gonna use that as my guide. Right here. And right here. There we go. And I will mark it. Okay. And you know what? Oh no, I did it right. Yeah, that's that's gonna be my front. Okay. Uh, so all right. So that's my mark right there. Great. So now we're ready to glue it. And so I will need help from one of you guys to uh, remove the dirty glue from underneath after I do the, the gluing and so what we need to do is just prepare the glue so we're going to dilute it a little bit because it's too thick otherwise okay Get my frog before I start. Probably should do a lot because I'm not sure, and we'll, we'll use it for your books anyway. So. You don't want to be running out of it in the middle of the process. That would be a disaster. Um, with all this, you know, the, th the thing could go wrong and it could be the wrong size, right? So, which, you know, it's not a big deal if you have nothing on the cover, but if you have printed something in advance, that might be a little bit of a problem. Um, if it's too tight, you can always kind of trim the book a little more, which, you know, it's not, very elegant, but so you want it to be not liquid really, but just enough. And so what I was saying about paper is that with regular paper, the glue might go through. So if it's thin, it's a little iffy. Okay, but if it's good paper, usually will hold. Um, all right, so prepare that. So you have to have your, your scissors ready, um, your uh, papers, and just to show you what we'll be doing is we'll be cutting off this corner. And there is another rule about like how much, how much room to live here to be able to flip the corner. And they say about two, twice the thickness of the board. Um, I'm not going to measure now. I'm just going to do it. So what I have to prepare is, I have to take off this. Uh, I'm just going to mark it in front, back. Take off my tape, which now is going to ruin my board a little bit. And I want to have my spacer ready, right? 
So that's the spacer which is going to help me put the boards down um, to get them in the right position. Okay, so those are the four things that you need, five with the paper. So you need many layers of uh, newsprint. And I'm going to get the pieces ready kind of on the side here. Don't have to worry about the book yet because we'll do that second. You can see what's happening, right? It's already curling. Um, Okay, so can somebody help me pull this out? Can you just pull it yeah, out? just pull it out once I put the glue, okay? Um, and you have to do it like really fast. Just, just pull it like this way. Okay. So now, this is not like a professional book binding brush. Professionals are not like round and thick, um, but nevertheless. So what you do is you put a finger right in the middle and you go from the center to the edges. Um, quick. <laughs> see, I'm not doing it fast enough. I'm worrying about that. So you see, if you leave your finger in the middle, it's not going to, wait, 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 <laughs> it's not done yet. <laughs> um, the idea is actually, can you hold that? Can you go to the other side and hold that? No, go to the other side. Or maybe Martha, yeah. Can Actually, that. Martha, can you? Yeah. See, this is not supposed to happen. You really... But anyway, what's happening is that the glue is going everywhere, and if the thing curls, then it gets on the back it's just going to go on the side that you're going to see, which is not going to be very nice. But you have about, like, 10 seconds <laughs> of, like, you know grace period, right? There. Actually, after you put it, it's kind of... Pino is amazing with okay. binding. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. So now... Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> no. So now you put the boards down. That okay, so and then I use the spacer to get the spacing right with my second board, like that. And now I'm in pretty good shape. Okay, now I can relax. Um, so now I'm gonna put the back here. And now I cut the corners. So again, I cut the corners. Um, show you. And then at 45 degree, but leaving enough so I can. Ah, these scissors are not very really good. Terrible. Bad scissors. You want to try these? Sure. They're going to get mocked up. But That's okay. Okay. Yeah, there's a better. Well, kind of better. <laughs> okay, now the big philosophical question. Which side you do first? <laughs> and... People say that you should do the uh, top first because uh, then the bump, the extra cloth, it's going to be on the sides. Meaning that when, you, when the book slides in and out of the shelf, it's not going to um, like have any pressure on it. I'll, I'll, I'll explain it in a second. But. So anyway, so this is the purpose of the newsprint, and you just do it. Can you take that off too? 
Normally one is enough, but I've got so much glue that... Oh, okay. So my corner here, I have actually too much overlap. So, but nevertheless, you take your, your, your nail and you just tuck it in a little bit. I have way too much. Um, so now you take this part of the Um, the glue was right clear, so it's messy. So now you just take like a double sheet of newsprint and you just, um, just go over it like that. Because it's enclosed now, it won't dry right away, so you have time, um, especially since we're going to put it on the press. So well, in our case, we're going to put it under. Oh, I guess I do have a press. In your case, you're going to put it under a heavy book. Okay. So I have a feeling because maybe the, the glue was too liquid, um, but it went, I don't know if you can see it, it's, it's showing through a little bit. So do it, do it on the inside too. So now we test to see if we got it right. And anyway, that's why you need a lot of newsprint because the glue gets everywhere. And the easiest way to deal with it is just to get rid of that, of that sheet. So I didn't do it too good. You see my hinge is a little bit off. Uh, one is a little bit more spaced than the other. But. That makes it look artistic and handy. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's see if it works. So we put the book inside. And it's pretty good, right? So you want to have enough, enough of a lip, right? So that it protects. You see that? Okay. Hmm? Your picture window. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry. What is that? Here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. That's it. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, you just you just rub it down. I can almost do it right on because it's going to be covered. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Normally, you wouldn't do it because you would see the streaks, but because. Um, see a little bit. There it is. Yeah, so you just drop the image right in there, right? Whatever it is that you're going to put in, right? A little square of something. Actually, I can do it faster just with my fingers. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it could be anything, right? And what's nice is it's going to be flush once you put it in. Um, it's going to be flush with the color. Okay. So now I'm just going to get my press ready. And my son the other day made a good suggestion. We restored one of his books and said, oh, let's just put, um, um, what did it say? Oh, yeah, wax paper, which is a good idea, actually. Um, I only knew where I put it.
Oh well. Somewhere there's wax paper, but I can't find it, so. No. Alright, what happened to it? Okay. Anyway, I'll just put regular white paper. It's okay. If, if, it, if glue gets sticks to it, I can always use it to remove it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll also prepare two boards to um, the size of the book. The next step is to just glue the back, right, the book. Oh, one thing I didn't put in is we talked about putting a little bookmark. You would have glued, glued, glued that in before putting the headband, right, a little ribbon. Um, so now this doesn't have any sides, but let's say that's my front, just in case. There, because that goes there. Um, and you just put glue on it. Simple as that. So at this point, I don't really need help because it's not going to go on the... So you just take the glue again and you put the glue right on the board like that. It's great because it's all going to get hidden, right? Um, some of the pages will stick. So when you open the book, like you leave it overnight, and when you open it, what you want to do is don't open the book, but you want to open the pages slightly. I mean, not slightly, but like with a knife, a blunt knife, um, so that it doesn't rip. Because, yeah, little glue is, gonna, is bound to be um, actually, I will get rid of that. So now you just have to use your judgment where it goes. And after you put it down, you don't want to mess with it too much, okay? There. That's it. Step one. And now the other side. So now you have to be careful not to get the glue on the back of the book that's, you know, lying down, right? You just have to be a little careful. If it's a thick book, that's easier to do, right? Because you're going to be high up. So this is good paper. You can see it's not moving much, which is nice. Flip it just to quickly check. Oh, bad. So there is, you got about, you know, 10 seconds of, again, it's pretty good. And you can use your fingers to press it in a little bit. That's it. So now we put it in the press and we leave it overnight. It's done. And then tomorrow we can put in the little square. Um, I made my spine a little too, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little too big. 
a little too wide. But when I press it, what I want, what I want to do is I want to put my boards not against the spine, but just against the uh, covers. So now we're going to do yours, right? Let me book. Yeah. I can assist you or we can do it together. Um, yeah. So the idea is that, um, again, in order for the book to open nicely and flat, the spine, um, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So the spine has to be independent of the back of the actual book. You can see that gap, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to open this. It would, you know, it would want to like, it would want to go back closed. So that's why it's not glued to the <coughs> spine now. Right, so in other words, in the book, this part doesn't have any glue, right? When we do the backing, it's free to, op it's free to move on its own. Um, but somebody did ask, can we do a soft binding on a, a sewn book? Sure, it would be different, you could just, you could just glue um, you know, if I wanted to do a soft cover, I would just, in that case, I would. But because it's soft, it would be able to bend. So I would put a piece that's just, you know, all around and glue, glue the back and maybe like a quarter inch on the top here, like we did for the end sheets. Do you do what? Do you oh, with the soft cover, you would trim everything at once. Yeah, you would, you would put it on before. Right. Yeah, unless, um, unless you were doing like, you know, like a, like a leaflet kind of cover, in which case you would have to um, trim the, the front first, put the cover on with the folds, and then trim the top and the and the bottom, so that you would have, so you would have the, um, you know, the little lift, um, the little bend there. So that's an extra step. That's the reason why you don't see that very often here. Um, My glue is like drooping. Oh, terrible. Too much. Okay. You can always cut it off later with a knife. Okay, so we can do this. We can do them all here. Like I can help you. You can do it and I'll help you. Or we can do them you know, around. What do you guys want to do? So you need to get your boards first. Oh, actually, we need to trim them all. Right, so let's do that. Let's, uh, let's trim them. 